Hello you all, welcome to the channel, welcome to Radko Tarot and uh, in this whole video we're going to look into Pisces, Sun, Moon and as well Rising uh, their week December 21st to uh, December 27th, 2020 and uh, just to remind you guys that right now there is a flash sale on the tarot classes that I'm offering uh, and it is exclusive for the, for the Facebook following so all that you gotta do is just send me a message on my Facebook page messages and I'm gonna provide you with links where you can uh, pretty much purchase the uh, minor arcana tarot class with 50% off and the major arcana tarot class with a 35% off the total price. If you are not a Facebook follower, you can uh, follow me on Facebook. The link for my Facebook page you're gonna find into the description down below. And not just only for the tarot classes, but the content of Facebook and YouTube, they are different. They are exclusively different. So with that being said, moving to the Pisces week here, the first card that we do have is the topic of your week, Pisces, and that is to be the uh, justice, followed by the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic here. We do have the lovers. Furthermore, that is to be the challenges that you are have that you will have to overcome throughout the week. We have the um, six of swords. Moving next, it is the uh, gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy throughout the week. That is to be the 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 devil card. Furthermore, we do have the impression that you are going to leave into the people around you, and that is going to be the ten of wands. After that, we do have the obstacles which are going to hold you back and down. That will be the uh, emperor. Then are the positive aspects which are going to help you push your things through. We have the king of pentacles and the last one, which is the guidance that Taro is offering. That will be the seven of wands. Those eight cards, pretty easy read uh, for what I can see here. Although it will be a rather quite important week that stands ahead of you. And uh, what we have is uh, those two cards. Um, we have the lovers as an energy, and then it is the justice as the uh, prime of the reading, uh, the uh, topic itself. So, uh, what is that all about? Uh, we do have something that it is a lot is some kind of a train that a lot is right is riding on that train. That train could be a decision you have to make, most likely or a activity that you will have to do. It's pretty much all depends on that. And um, energy-wise that are feeding and supporting the topic here, it is, um, those energies are gonna make you, how can I say, not realize, but take on a point or on a standpoint that Ultimately, you have to enjoy and like what comes out of your actions and out of your decisions. Uh, and that being said, you are going to become, although under normal circumstances, this should be very stressful week, you are going to have that calmness and that in, in generally harmony within yourself. So being calm and harmonious, you will be able to scratch a lot of uh, endeavors, chores, and in general responsibilities um, of your plaza. So you're going to be very productive. Those energies are pushing you into the topic, which is the topic of justice. And because you are harmonious and, uh, how did I say it, productive and calm, you will have that astute discernment of which should be immediate concern and priority and which could wait. I'm talking about as an endeavor, I'm talking about as, a, uh, uh, as an enterprise in general, which one you should undertake first and then after that and after that. So we do have kind of like a solid string, solid uh, placement. Of, uh, of the activities and deeds moving forward for throughout the week and just speaks of that you are gonna have time for everything. Not just only that, but let's talk about uh, interactions a little bit, uh, kind of like a, uh, relationships with friends, coworkers, family, lovers, so on and so forth. Uh, this week, through the energies, you are gonna learn how to accept people for who they are and not exactly, but you're gonna learn how to enjoy the differences that you do have with, with, with those people. So differences, instead of making cracks and gaps in between you two, 
are going to become making you special for one another and that is going to place a balance in your relationship is going to place uh, a good terms and again balance into your business relationships and so on and so forth where everybody is doing their part everybody is undertaking their uh, responsibilities and their deeds that are relying on each other if that's uh, if that pretty much makes sense so it's kind of like um that kind of a uh, coexistence where none of you is burdened to the other. It is what we do have here. Now, love, it may be there, it may not be there, okay? We're not talking about love here. We are talking about acceptance and the acceptance is going to be high in, uh, in your environment. So if you are looking for love, if you are looking for someone to understand you, someone to accept you for who you are, that week, it's, it's a very good week where you can find such a person, you know, love is just a, uh, a thing that is going to come on its own accord after that, or it, it's just is not mandatory, that's what those cards are saying. Moving next, we do have the challenges that you will need to overcome, and that is the challenge of the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords could play out a couple of challenges here. One of them is if you are if you are going to spend the week in cooperation, okay? If you are going to spend the week amongst many people and you have to unite all of them under the common cause, that is going to be a challenging thing for you. Uh, and it is just you have to explain them what they are going to lose if, you, if they don't contribute rather than what they are going to win if they contribute. So here you just have to uh, make people realize that the circumstances are going to deteriorate if nothing is done on the, uh, on the issue, on the concern. The other challenge is, um, and it's a little bit more superficial here with the Six of Swords, and that is the challenge of um, exploring new horizons. Not necessarily to become part of them, but just so you are aware what your options available are. And it's a challenge, it's because you are gonna be very busy with all the harmony, you know, uh, and with all the, the peacefulness and as well the structure of your responsibility. You are going to be very busy and you're not gonna have really the attitude to look outside of your zone, outside of your comfort zone, if you will, but you should because one, one it will come a time where this, peace is going to end and or is going to exhaust itself and you have to think of what you're going to do next. Moving next, we do have uh, the uh, gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy throughout the week. That is the devil and this is an, an amazing gift and that is the power to make the things happen. It's all that there is with the devil, either constructively or either destructively. If I were your enemy, I would not mess around with you throughout this week. The devil gives you the impulse, the, the, the power, like I said, in generally the ability to, uh, to, to make whatever your yearnings are true. So by you listening this reading, you have to think that way. What are my hungers? Where do my desires are dragging me toward? And once you do identify that, this is where the determinant needs to take place, okay? Is it really worth going for it? Am I going to do more harm than good by doing it so or not? And um, with the, because the devil is very neutral, neutral energy on its, uh, on its own accord, only you can direct it in a good way or in a bad way. But the devil comes with uh, as everything you have ever wanted. Should you take it or not? that's entirely, entirely up to you. Uh, but you have to, according to the first couple of cards, guys, you gotta do so, you maintain harmony within yourself. Moving next, we do have the uh, impression that people are gonna have in you when they see you. And that is the impression of the Ten of Wands. Like I said, very busy person, someone who already initiate a chain of, uh, of events, of stipulations, of activities that some, that one cannot pull themselves off it. Uh, and not because, uh, you know, the universe, for example, is restricting you to do so, but because the reward is worth it. Because the Ten of Wands, it's, it's always a card pointing that you have way too much on your platter, 
that at some point you may find yourself struggling to maintain and to control, but the reward is power. The reward, it's, it's very mm, tempting, not, not exactly tempting, but it, 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 it's pretty much worth it. And that could be power over your life, power over other people, power over your job, power over your love. But the reward of the Ten of Wands is power. And that's why you may kind of like build up some enemies throughout the week because people may be afraid of you and how fast you grow, how fast you progress, you know, into your career, especially into your social circle. For example, if you do enter in a new social circle, in no time you are going to become the MVP in it. And those that have been beforehand MVP going to see how much power now you do have over the social circle. And that is not going to be because you do have any malicious or surreptitious intentions behind, but it is because the, uh, how can I say this, the sense of harmony, peace, calmness, and the ability to structure the, the priorities in there in a very accurate order, it just breeds sense of reliability from others. Moving next, we do have the obstacles which are going to hold you back and down, and that is the obstacle of the Emperor. And uh, I would say that you are going to like what you are experiencing here, and you're going to aim to make it more and more predictable, and that is going to lead to stiffness. If you do not leave a room for surprises, if you do not leave a room for something unpredictable to happen out there, but you do aim to maintain control and power over everything that is happening within your life, it's just your life is going to become stick, uh, stiff. I'm sorry, it's just it's going to become stiff and uh, you are going to find yourself at some point, you know, having um, everything controlled and nothing exciting is really happening. Yeah, I mean, your life is not gonna have ups and downs. It's going to be deprived of such, uh, how can I say, uh, unreliable events and unreliable feelings, but you will not going to be happy in it, at least according to those cards. So do what you gotta do to gain control over your social circle, over your career, over your relationship throughout the week, but once you gain the control, um, do not stifle it. Because this is what we're talking about here. Too much power and you just stifle everything around, having it either your way or the highway. Uh, the, last, uh, the next one here, which is the uh, positive aspects which are gonna help you push through your things or gain control and power over the week. That is an individual we do have, the King of Pentacles. And they pretty much see huge potential in you. That's probably, for example, your boss. And they see huge potential in you to become a very important asset into the company. And they pay for your education. They pay for your uh, for um, um, qualifications, courses, or they simply give you the resources you need in order to gain the power. So that is a person who is going to help you with resources here, either money, you know, either a certain um, objects, whatever you need. That this isn't charity, however. Do not mistake it, generosity for a charity. That person will want a favor back or they will uh, wait for, a, how can I say, they will hope for a repayment back. Whether you do it or not, that's entirely different subject, but they're doing it because they, uh, how can I say, they first of all, they see you as a very honest individual, and second of all, they see that you can be very helpful to one another. This isn't a lover. All right, that's somebody that purely sees that they can be of use of you right now. And when they call you and they need you, you can be use of them as well. Now, should that be lover, they, they will act a little bit more of a, uh, of, a, of a scare rather than anything else, seeing you know how powerful you become within the relationship. They will try to keep up with you in the sense of that just as much as you give and you maintain control over the relationship, they give just so much. So it's kind of like trying to keep up with your pace uh, in the relationship itself. And the last card that we do have for you, Pisces, which is the guidance the Tarot is offering, that is the Seven of Wands, uh, fight for what you own, all right? Fight for everything that you have built up with these two hands. And not just only that, but as well, sometimes um, knowing when and how to act and what to do uh, 
it's much more valuable than just doing something for the heck of it. Here, uh, if you have the option to observe, make your plan, and then do something very effective about it, is going to play, uh, is going to give much more benefits than just reacting straight away on the, uh, on the matter. Now, that being said, as the guidance card says, that you always need to be vigilant and ready to jump into action whenever your domain is threatened or whenever something tries to tempt you out the power that you are to build up for yourself. So that being said, Pisces, this was your a weekly general tarot reading uh, December 21st to December 27th, 2020. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys, and we shall see each other next time. Until then, bye.